Welcome back to the channel. My name is Abram. Welcome back to Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. Uh, we're back. Uh, Chloe is here. And we found the temple. We are inside the uh, the temple where hopefully we will find ourselves um, a map or some help getting to Shambhala. That's what we're looking for. Um, last time we continued our trek through the uh, cities of Nepal, or through this city of Nepal anyway. And uh, bumped into Elena, of course, old friend from the first game, along with her cameraman Jeff. Uh, she is now an investigative journalist, and she's investigating Lazarovitz, the same guy that we are racing to get to the treasure. Because apparently NATO think that he's dead, and um, they're here to prove that maybe he faked his death, or, or well, that he's he's alive, and he is alive. We know he is, but yeah, NATO think he's dead. So um, that's what they're doing here. Uh, of course, we're on the trail of Lazarovich as well, trying to find our way to Shambhala before he can find it. An entrance here somewhere. I mean, I've seen this guy before. This looks like it might be worth something. Chloe's looking for. Uh, is she shopping? Is that what she's doing here? Looking, looking for treasures that she can take with her. Um, so in the first game, you had Drake's diary, which um gave you a few clues as to what to do with puzzles. Uh, in this game has the diary as well and what I really like about this diary is that if you go back through the book you can see some other bits and pieces this is really cool so you can go all the way to the start like let's go through this whole book so right at the start here so there's a there's a letter here sick parvis magna greatness from small beginnings which is what's engraved on his ring Harry Flynn and Eddie Raja uh, and two other names there that I can't quite make out how Kadiki Beach Hotel, Costa Rica 2001, Fortune Favors the Bold, Scully, there's a coin, photo of Elena, so um, maybe they did date, we don't really know, and it's not very clear what happened between the events of 1 and 2, uh, like maybe they kept in touch, but did they date or not, we don't actually know. Um, but there's a flower there that's got Elena F's name, this is Papua July 20 I think does that say 2016 I'm not quite sure it might be 2006 actually so these are all are these all love interests then you've got a Claire at the top there from 96 we've got Shamfufu Rika Georgina Chloe's there at the bottom that says 2002 so are these I don't know what these signify of course that they, they, they seem to be important of so like some of some importance but are they are they dates they went on? Was it something a bit more than that? Not really sure, but this is quite cool actually. I've never really looked at this in so much detail. But you can see Elena, July 2006, um, phone numbers. So, yeah, got, got himself a phone number. The faces of Victor Goddamn Sullivan. Delight, El Goddamn Dorado. Compassion. Nate, how did you get stuck in this goddamn shithole? Three, arousal, goddamn world of women. And four, anger. God damn it, kids are going to get us all killed. I love it. Uh, there we've got the uh, the oil lamp. Mongolian fags prescript. Good fortune, Khan. Blue nuggets of flammable resin. Uh, we've got a map of um, such, like sort of East Asia. We've got Tibet. We've got Nepal, Burma, India. Uh, there's the quote from the... Uh, from the start of the game, uh, Istanbul Palace Museum. Uh, that looks like it might be a thing for a hotel on the left there. Uh, I can't read that. Marco says, "Oh, oh that's the uh, that's the Shambhala quote." Uh, there is the Chintamani Stone, the treasure of the world. Research Nicholas Rorik. Wind horse, the human soul. Chintamani jewels carried on the back of the wind horse. Wish fulfilling jewels. Marco Polo's route home from China. Borneo ship camp. Uh, and this is what we want. So this is the this is the puzzle that we're looking at at the moment. The clues, arm arrangements. So basically, what we're going to do is each of the things that he's holding in his four hands apart from the stone in the middle there, uh, we need to put them in a certain place. Huh. Looks like the locals are still using this place. So I need to find a way to get up to the statue. Mm. 
I think it was round the other side. So that's basically what the book's used for. And there's a few other Easter eggs in there that you may have seen. So it looks like Nate, Nate and Elena may have dated once upon a time. Maybe back in like 2000, 2006. Or maybe that's just when he got the phone number. Again, not entirely clear. Where am I going? I think, ah, it's all the way back here we need to be. I think you've got to climb up here. Yeah, here we go. This is climbable. Oh, it's climbable, but it just leads to a treasure. What did we get? We got a bronze altar spoon. Okay, let's go back down then. Will that kill us? No, it won't. Okay. There's no fall damage per se, but if there's a jump that Nate's not, not supposed to be able to make, then he won't make it. But there's no, like, fall damage. Right. Is it? Okay, it's not this way either. Okay, how do we get up then? Because I don't remember. Maybe it's somewhere in here. Um, ah, the pillar. That's what we want. I found a treasure, though. That's good. Hang on. I'm going to get a closer look at this thing. Sure. I'll just wait down here. Right, so... We've got a place... Ah, so that's the way you get across there, as you swing across there. Uh, I kind of want to go this way first, though. If I can... Okay, we can. It looks like you can climb higher as well, so there may be another way to get there. Uh, can we make that? Oh, just. Okay, so the first one we have here is like a trident sort of thing. So that's facing the correct way, so that's okay. So we don't need to touch this one. So if we can go a bit higher... We can hopefully get to that one and see and I, I actually it probably would have been worth checking if we needed this one I I imagine we do you wouldn't need to not touch two on the same side so the the dodger I think that's called needs to be sort of held like a dumbbell so that needs is that is that enough yeah, no, that's where it needs to be. There we go. So that side's done. Uh, can we go any higher? No, we can't. So if I drop down now, that will kill me. So I've got to try and find a way over to the other side. And we can keep going this way. I think that might take us there. Maybe. Uh, no, it's not. Okay, so we have to drop down and... All right, Drake. Okay, yeah, so now we go to the other side. That might kill him. Oh, no, okay. Back on the uh, pole we go. And then we can use those bars at the back to get around to the other side. Um, yeah, you can't make that jump there, but that's fine. Over we go. Nice one. Thank you. Okay, nothing through there that we can get to anyway. Well, that's an easy way up this side now. Okay, so we've got... Uh, what's he holding there? Looks like sort of herbs of some sort, maybe? Not quite sure, but they need to be... I think they might need to be moved. Just bring them down a little bit. Yeah, that's it. So then we just need to get up to the top one. And I think that looks like the perba, like the dagger. And that needs to be pointing all the way down. So I think we might need to move that one. Uh, okay, we've got to jump to the bar behind us. All right, hey, come on. Admit it. You're impressed. I am. I'll throw you a banana. <laughs> And then we should be able to get to it from here. Drop down. We're good. Okay, did that work? It looks like it may have worked. Wait a minute. What is it? 
Chloe, this isn't just a dagger. It's a key. Hmm. Well, let's find out what it is. Well, it is a passport to St. Barla. It looks like it might go in that little slot there. So let's see. Putting it into the big guy's mouth. I don't know how he's supposed to know to turn it clockwise and then anti-clockwise and then clockwise again. How is he supposed to know that? I don't think that was in the book. Okay, the water seems to be draining. That's good. the door it opened. We've done it. Well, technically I did it. Be right there. Yeah, what's all this we <laughs> stuff? This isn't a communist nation. Okay, down we go. What do you think? You game? Ladies first. If you say so. God, I'm not claustrophobic. No, we're good. All right, we're, we're in. Okay, no one knows about this, so we should be okay. Although the door's wide open, so anyone else could walk in here and find this. We don't, huh. we don't want that. You know, it's actually kind of romantic down here. All right, there's the chocolates and flowers. <laughs> you never were a chocolate and flower kind of girl. Oh, you know me so well. Okay, we're going a bit deeper. I thought there were spikes for a second there. That was a bit alarming. Uh, I'll climb up here. You're not going to get us trapped in a small dark space 30 meters underground, are you? Probably. A little bit of a drop. All right, I'm coming. Ugh. Little drop. Yeah, maybe I underestimated. Yeah, that would break ankles if you if you. Got that wrong. Judging by the fact that there's a lot of cover here, I'm a bit worried that people will find this. Oh, what have we got here? Looks like some kind of tree. That's great analysis, Drake. What's that got to do with the Chintamani stone? You got me. Opening up down here. Okay. All right, I'll be climbing on the. Uh, what is this? What the? Is, what is that? Like an elephant with like a goat coming out of his mouth. Strange. And this one's got no head. Oh, what is this? Are we outside again? How have they not found this? Oh, okay. <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh, you have got to be kidding. Well, there's a lot of bones down here. Oh, okay. There's the spikes in the ceiling. Uh, Frisell wants to throw a grenade. Yeah, this is really romantic. Okay, what now? Um, into there maybe. Stop that. Shoot them out? Yeah, we shoot them out. Let's get the hell out of here. Sorry, life is still flashing before me. Okay, so that's what you do there. Um, let's go back to the shotgun. I feel like that might be handy later. Oh, hello, treasure. What have we got? We've got a bronze Varaha statue. Looks very similar to the thing that we were just with. Right, so that's that fixed. Uh, I think we jump up here now. Might have wasted a grenade there, but it's fine. We've still got three. All right, come on, follow me. And hopefully now we'll get back to what we were aiming for. I don't think it's outside. It looked like it was a lot brighter. What are you, a child? I'm hungry. Are we there yet? My feet hurt. Jesus Christ. Okay, I think that's where we might have just fallen down. Um, or a bit back there, maybe. Place. Okay, so that looks like the Perba before. Hey, that thing looks familiar. Yeah, it looks like the Perba dagger. That's what I just said. Stop interrupt. Well, not huh. interrupting me, but copying me. All right, we've got the path of light. So what I'm 
what, what I would think we do here is try and move those arms back into position and then the dagger will plunge into this dude's heart. That's what I'm hoping anyway. Right. How do we get down here? I mean, steps. Steps are usually good. Right, we're reflecting light into the head. So that's one. Uh, and then there's probably a few more Just around. Have to bounce the light around the room. Oh, here's another one. Well, there's no other light source, so we need to we need to get some more lights before we can move those ones. Um, let's go all the way down. Let's have a close look at this big guy. Maybe bump into another treasure or something. We'll see. Right, let's see what we got with this guy then. So yeah, it looks like the purple will go into there. And then that will maybe unlock another door. I mean, I'm walking on his face. Uh, looks like another slot there for the perba though, so maybe we can get some more lights using that. Okay, that's brought down that one of the arms. And looks one like, down, two to go. looks like, what do you reckon? We're we can have to climb that thing. I reckon I'm gonna have to climb that thing. I remember that line. I was gonna say it and I knew he was gonna say it, so I saved my breath. Let's get up here and see if we can get a better look. Okay, be careful up there. Alright, at this point Chloe's just moral support. She's not doing anything, is she? She's just there to spectate. Right. Hey, whatever you do, don't fall. Yeah, I think that fall may definitely kill us. Right, so we walk along the Seems arm. Like such a good idea down there. Goal, we must be a long way up. We're jumping on the eyelid. We're jumping on the eyelid. Oh, the eyebrows is a, a reliever. Okay, so there's another light. And we've got some footholds. Nice. Right. Now, can we jump over to there? Oh. Climb up here. Oh, okay. I thought there might be a way up to a treasure there, but no, I think it's just the way you get around. I get around. Run, run, get around, I get around. So, that's a short way up then, so you don't have to do all that other stuff again. See, the game helps you in that way. Uh, where am I going? Oh, <laughs> hello treasure. Oh, I didn't mean to look for that. Copper Lackey Mask. Alright, what have we got then? Are we supposed to go back down? Oh, no, I know. There's more reflectors up here. Chloe! Yeah. Adjust the other reflector. Okay, so she's gonna do that. Nice work. Oh, and then there's another one over here. Right. Okay, now what? Hold on. So now can we go to that other thing as well or not? Um no, but that looks like a mirror, so that should light something. And we've got another face over here. And then this should hopefully bring down another arm. I'm not sure what these creatures think about us That's plunging it. that yeah, weird shaped thing into their mouths. So that's two. So there is one more. And we've got another way across there. So now if we climb that up again, we might be able to... Oh, we get over to that one. That's what we're doing. We want to go to that face there. So if we climb back up the arm, we should be able to get another way around. Um, 
Let's try it this way. One more blade to go. Not that it really matters, I don't think, which way you climb up. I mean, you could probably go both ways, but... You know, maybe not. Who knows? Right, so this time we go this way. Uh-oh. Okay, we can't go in anywhere. Now how am I gonna get that eye open? But it's shining. Let's shoot it out. There we go. So that shines the third light. We may have broken the dagger, but that's fine. Right, so it's not quite down yet. It's not quite there. But if we jump over to here, that should fix it. This is the third. Oh, I need to move the mirror first. Which is over here. Move the third light, we just and we should be there. That other reflector. Chloe's, Chloe's actually being useful in moving the ones over there. Thank you, darling. And then... Good, that's it. That's it. That's that. I did it. So then we plunge the dagger into this dude's mouth, and we should be there. There we go, into his heart, like I said. Oh, we're going in his mouth, lovely. Coming down. I mean, into the belly of the beast, maybe. Not really what I had in mind. So, the secret of Shambhala is down this guy's throat? Yeah, he ate it. I guess so. It's like in like movies or like sort of cartoons where the bag, the villain eats the key. Swallows the key. Um, right. Here we go. Cutscene. I think this might be what we've come here for. Whoa. That's amazing. Chloe, I know where that is. That's right here. You see the shape of, of that peak there? Uh-huh. Here it is. Which means... Wait, let me use your back. Which means... The entrance to Shambhala must be right here. <laughs> so, we did it. We did it. Yes. Yes. We did it. The whole lid in the mouth thing's funny. Okay, it looks like they might have found us. Kill some mood. Yeah, take that with you. Don't leave that behind. Might need it again in the future. Alright. Uh, 24 minutes we're actually getting into, into some gunfights now. Only one way out. Um having a very quick look around for treasure in this room because the fact that we can run around it suggests that there might be something we can do but maybe I'm wrong uh, told you there we go oh we've got a Ganesh statue right uh, where is the way out um I've lost the door. <laughs> oh, there's no door. <laughs> God, I'm stupid. There we go. Right. Uh, they probably know where we are. Find them. 
Ooh. Right, it's going to be very difficult to stealth this. It might not be, you know. Oh, that was good. I didn't know you could stealth this bit. Having a res gun. Right, who else do we have? Anyone else around? There's one over there. Is there only three? I don't see any more. There might only be three. I oh know, there's, there's another one over there. He's facing the wrong way, though. Oh, no, wait. I think he might have seen me. And now we've got laser sights. This isn't good. Shit. They must have gone right through Jeff and Elena. We've got to get back to the entrance. Oh, I shot him. He's got a dragon sniper. I saw that gun. Right. Uh, we have taken out everyone that was in this room. That was good. I didn't actually know you could stealth that bit. Learning something new every time I play this game. Shotgun blast. Okay. Right, we've got a sniper. So let's try and take some of these guys out. I kind of want to save it though. Oh, hello. Drop kick you in the face. Did that get you? I think I might have missed. That didn't. Right, I need another handgun. Let's go back down for one of these. There we go. Chloe, move. Why are you following me? I was just looking for a gun. There are more if you want a different one. I don't know what gun you have. Okay, that's you dealt with. Two. Oh, wait, there's more coming. Damn it. That's a good grenade. That should get all three of them. Now's our chance. Let's get out of here. Oh, 30 kills with the grenades, is that? I'm gonna keep this dragon sniper. It could come in handy, but we need to get back to Elena and Jeff. Because they were outside this place, so they can't be in a good place. Right, up we go. Oh, God. Oh, I meant to cover behind that and I missed it. That was a bad grenade. Let's try again. That was better. I mean, Chloe, you are impervious to damage, it seems. This guy needs to die. There we go. I 
Right, that's him done. Determined to get some more use out of this, um... Out of the sniper rifle. I'd like to. Oh, I did see someone that side. Is there anyone on this side? No. Oh no, I did see someone. Right, I don't remember oh god I need to cover. I don't remember the trick for these thing for these guys. Are you dead? No you're not. There's a thing you can do where you like jump up them, but I don't remember what it is. Oh, or you just jump over them and get them from behind. That works as well. Uh we could use the riot shield, you know. Okay, that was all right. It was just the shooting was a bit off. I think that was my fault. Let's go for a micro. And um, we've got another grenade over here. Right, I think we're good. Let's drop the shield. And oh. All right, we've made it back to the to the to the temple bit. Just got to go through the narrow gap, and we are there. Down there. Hey. Oh, a pistole. Oh, I think that's like a stronger version of the Wes gun. Oh, hello. Get away from him. Coast is clear. Come on. I ain't getting away from him, he's oh, fine. Shit. Where are they? Yeah, they're not here. They're out there somewhere. Um let's stick with this pistole. Oh, can stop up on stock up on grenades. There we go. I knew they were there for a reason. Right, we're going to stick with this pistole and try and use the dragon sniper if we can. Because we've got a lot of bad guys around. I mean, I said this was a... Right, snipe you. And snipe you. Stole for you. Shoot you in the head. And get you. Okay, that's everybody. Right, we need some more guns. And it started pouring with rain as well. Uh, right, that door's shut behind us. We can't go back for anything there. So we'll have to loot these guys' guns then. Right, what do we got? We've got 92 mil. Yes. Got a moss shotgun and we've got a fail. Let's go for the fail. Uh, 
Let's go for the Falcon. You could, might be able to get some more sniper stuff, but I don't think we will be able to. Better keep moving. He's hit. Uh oh. Uh, I'm okay. Jeff's being. Ooh. Bye, Jeff. <laughs> Alright, you're gonna be fine. Alright? Think you can stand? I think so. Alright, come on, have it. No. No, 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 leave that. It's busted anyway. Here we go. Up. Oh. Nate. He's fine, aren't you, Chief? All right, get the door open. He's never gonna make it. We have to leave him. What? No! Uh, get the door open, Chloe! Gonna get us all killed! All right, here we go. Shooting while helping the, the, the hurt along. Come on, and we can't use our grenades this way either. And we can't cover. Well, that was a good shot. Oh, oh, that came from that way. I think I was going the wrong way then. I heard Eleni going Nate this way. I think we go through that door there. Yeah, just through this way. Okay. I went the wrong way. Right, we can reload one by now. And we get a bit more ammo as well. Right, Chloe's running off ahead, which makes me a bit worried. Come on! Oh. Nate, we can't do this. Just go! Whoa! Oh, hello. Oh! Tanks. What are you shooting at if we're clear? Shoot that guy in the head, get rid of you. Keep going. Okay. Uh, we can't use the shotgun. You can shoot a shotgun one-handed. Come on, Drake. You know that. Come on, Nate. I'm going as fast as I can. I'm pulling another person along with me here. You're gonna be okay. Stay with me. Oh, that's no good. Oh, through here quickly. Wow. You survived that. I'm okay. uh, he's got an RPG, you need to get rid of him. Okay, he can walk. How are these people still alive? Oh, and we're dead. I was getting, I should have waited a bit there to, to get some health back, but I've got a bit too impatient. I don't know how Elena and Chloe are still going. Oh! <laughs> he went flying! Right, this way, quick. Right, we're in a building, we should be safe. As long as they don't follow us. Come on, Jeff. Come on. I, I I forgive you for the snarky comment you made earlier. All this effort, you think I'd known you long, huh? Oh shit! It's all right. We can make that. He can't. Oh, no, you don't. We don't have a choice. Can't. Nate. Okay, you tried, but it's over. He can't go any further. We can't just leave him here to die. He is as good as dead already, and so are we if we don't go now. Then go. Yeah, nobody's stopping you. Chloe. I was trying to save your skin, you idiot. Chloe? What is this? Sorry. She's been found out. Drop the guns. Seriously. Flynn knows Get that she's double crossed them. That she's an inside person. Unbelievable. You just can't help yourself, can you? I guess that makes us even. Not quite. 
Uh-oh. It's Lazarevich. So, this little man is Drake. Did you carry him all the way from the temple? Shame. No! Bye, Jeff. Now, tell me what you found in the temple. The answer that you're looking for. Okay? I know where the stone is, but you're not going to find it without me. So just... Just let her go, and I will lead you right to it. My shadow, you are the reporter who has been biting at my heels. You better pray that he is not bluffing. Search him. Come on. Oh, it's a good thing Drake marked <laughs> it with an X. That is you idiot, mate. Drake. Yeah. There must have been something else you could have done than marked it with a big bloody red marker pen, you fool. It appears you have nothing to bargain with, Mr. Drake. Return to the staging ground. Prepare to move out. You, come with me. You. Take care of them. No problem. How can you work for that monster? Beats working against him, love. So that's it, huh? Just gonna mow us down in cold blood? Looks that way, doesn't it? Get up. I said get up! Ah, run! Nice punch, Elena. We know you can do one of those. We've been on the end of it. Alright, here we go. Running away from Flynn. Sorry, Jeff. We're leaving you behind. They know about Chloe now as well. Flynn does at the, at the very least. Go for a roll. Yeah, they, they know that Chloe's been working with us. Elena, you okay? I didn't I didn't see Elena. This way, this way quick. I don't know where Elena is, I can't see her. I know she's behind us. I think she fell behind a little bit. Oh yeah, jump. I mean there's no way you make that. Even with my help, there is no way you can jump that high. That's not possible. There again. I think we lost him. Seen one of those before. Never should have got you into this mess. You didn't. I got here on my own. Nah. I mean, you know the, the rest of it. Oh, we knew what the stakes were. <sighs> okay, so uh, what do we do now? Going after her. Huh. Of course you are. Typical. Go after her. Huh. Flynn said something about a train. Which means they would have taken her to the rail yard. Here. So it should be that way. Past the water tower there. Nate, she pulled a gun on us. I know. She was about to pull the trigger too. They just beat her to it. It's complicated. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. Flynn knew she was with me. If Lazarevich finds out she double-crossed him, you know what he'll do to her. Yeah, I've seen his handiwork. Then you know I don't really have much of a choice. Honor among thieves, huh? Cue credits. <laughs> Something like that. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Nope. I don't have the faintest idea. <laughs> Ah, good to know that some things just never change. Okay, let's go. What? Oh, no, 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 no. You're not coming with me. Nate. Shut up. Okay? We have a train to catch. Well, she's got experience with this sort of stuff, isn't she? Right. 
Uh, we're like 45 minutes in, so we're going to end things there. <laughs> I thought that might have knocked her out of the way or something then, but it didn't. Um, there might be a treasure back here, actually. Let's have a very quick look. I always find that if they let you access the area from before, there might be a treasure there, but I think... No. We're out of luck this time. It was worth a look, though. Um, yeah, we're getting things there, because we're about 45 minutes in. So uh, we're going to try and make our way to that um, train yard uh, next time. We need to go after Chloe now. Because uh, they know that she was um, working on the inside for, th for us. So we need to... Uh, we need to go after her again and we'll deal with these guys next time for now thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video drop a like down below and leave comments they're the best ways to support the channel and if you haven't done so already or if you're new then do subscribe and turn on notifications um if you are new and you don't know about my other channel where i play football manager um like three days a week over there so go and check that out as well it's in the description uh we will go after chloe next time try and get to this train station and see if we can can um can go after her and get her back because if uh, Lazarovich finds out that she's been working against them, he's going to kill her. So uh, we don't want that for now. Uh, so we'll pick things up next time for now. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.